So it's not like if you don't pray, you are destroyed. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, no lack of tithe, no lack of uh, offering, no lack of anything but knowledge. So if we are devoid of knowledge, what will happen? We will continue. Say, because you have rejected knowledge, reject. How can you reject some? You can only reject when it has been given to you. Am I right? Yes. So when I say, oh, Carol here, I should believe it. And they say, nah, 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 I don't want it. You have rejected it. That's why they wapo. So because you have rejected, so the word rejected means that the knowledge is available to us. But we have rejected it. So if we have rejected it, how is God's reaction towards our rejection? Then I have all kind of poor yapun in the end. What's so on so bad? I will reject you as my priest. Miss Mepo, remember we did me so for my priest. The word priest here is not necessarily a pastor. When you read the book of Second Peter, he said, You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. A priest is somebody who um, acts in the presence, uh, uh, um, in the middle of uh, uh, intermediary between man and God. That's why when you have a problem, you rush to pastor. Pastor is the one who uh, is like, he's very close to God than you do. You cast your software, your software, or way and chain, and now software, or quite by now software, as you may see. Or software will be a way and who is your name. He represents God. Amen. Amen. So if you reject God's knowledge, He will reject you. He will never be let you be His representative. Oh, my union is here. And again, because you have ignored the law, ignore means ah. That shall not say, ah. That shall not commit a lot to, oh, please, 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 please. Ah, yeah, tia bread, yes, you need. Oh. That shall not say, ah, please, please, we are tired of this. That shall observe the Sabbath. Please, please keep quiet. We have heard about this one, I have Christ is coming soon. Oh, please, we heard this thing when we were young. He has not still not come. You are ignoring it. It is like rejecting. Reject him is, ah, uh, I don't want to take it away. Ignoring is like, I uh, know it, but I don't care about it. So because we have ignored God's law, he will also ignore our children. This one is very, very painful. I'm the one who ignored. I'm a poor year, seven pen. I've heard it now. Obey ignore me and children, but not me. This one is very, very serious. See? We... When we ignore God's law, what will He do to our children? When we ignore God's law, what will He do to our children? He will ignore them and He will reject them until they themselves will seek Him. Good. He will not do anything to you, the one who ignored it, but your children. You will die and go, and God will reject your children. It's very painful. Maybe I'm at the age of 98, I'm dead and gone. My daughter will be 30 something years, and she's praised God. Say, because your father ignored me, me, I'll reject you, I'll ignore you. Oh, my God, what did I do? My father did it. Why are you putting the blame on me? <laughs> because your father didn't pay heed. So if you love your children, what must you do? Teach him the law of god no madam in the light of this text here if you love your children what must you do obey the lord obey the lord love yes lord. Yeah. yes yeah. you should not ignore god's law otherwise god will ignore your children <laughs> sorry yeah <laughs> 
So if you love your children, you want God to be with your children, then better you yourself don't ignore God's law. So today we are going to take a look at Hosea chapter 4, verse number 6. And then we analyze a few things. Then we're going to ask questions. So all this Bible study that you are learning every week on Saturday morning is to impact knowledge into you. Because if you don't know something and you don't bother to find out, you are ignoring it. Yeah, it's very, very serious. So today, I'm going to ask a lot of questions. So every answer is correct. Try to tell us what you know. By saying it, somebody will learn from it. Amen. Amen. Mm. Now, when you quote this quotation, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. What question come first into your mind, Mr. Malon? What oh, question write, comes was, into your mind? Writing something. Can, you, can you repeat the question? I was writing something. What comes into your mind when you read the text? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. What question comes into your mind? Yes, the question that comes to mind is how come they are so they are so stubborn and why don't they turn to God? Why don't they why do they still reject? You are talking God. about D, what about you? <laughs> Eh? You are talking about day. What about you? The question that must come into mind is as simple as this. Knowledge about who? Mm. Yeah. Knowledge. You must have knowledge. Yeah, yeah, I know. But about what? And about who? You see? Well, well, for, for myself, yeah. that was the question. But if you ask for about the people, then... Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if you say... Malone, you are now in the church. Please try to have knowledge. Yeah, about what? About the organ, how it is being played, about the piano, about preaching, about this, about that. Then you are being steered to one corner. So the general question is, knowledge about what? Knowledge about who? So if you can answer this question, then we can know how to learn the knowledge. Because Paul, uh -huh, because Paul said, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Uh, Who was Paul uh, talking Lord. about? Yeshua Messiah. Exactly. You see, so Paul was saying that I may know him. Him is the who? That I may know him. And the power of his resurrection. Resurrection. So the resurrection is the what? So the resurrection will let you know who Paul wanted to know. But we Christians, do we really want to know something about who and about what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the who refers here to who? Yeshua Messiah. Or Elohim Yahweh. You must have a knowledge about him. Yeah. Now, uh, and the next thing is he said that because you have ignored my law, I will ignore your children. Then you have to ask yourself, what law am I ignoring? Mm. The law of the Ten Commandments. Uh -huh. In what way do we ignore the law? We don't These obey. Are... Uh -huh. These are the questions you need to ask yourself as a Sabbatarian. Knowledge about who? So today we're going to take the first question. Who is Elohim Yahweh? Mama Vida, Elohim Yahweh, why are you Creator of heaven and earth. Thank you. Mama, I do Elohim Yahweh or your 
No a mere ho. Ye ready. Nana man patchuba mi ansa ba kwe. Lo him hiyabe o ye hwain. Meba sho o ye. Nashua mi zaya papa. Good. Meda si o ye adie. Carol, who is Elohim Yahweh? Hey, Jeff. Wait. The creator of heaven and earth. Thank you. So that's the knowledge you have so far. Thank you. Mama Lydia, Elohim Yahweh, or your wine? I don't patch off Miss Oli Kakro. You are about Katra Yeti. I don't patch all the same. Miss Waba, Waba answer can't and a train in tea. I don't patch off Sabra be a nominee. Nani hodi ya ishia so wabema mfaye firu sawa maka sego. Me sorry ya kakradi siya mpacho. Ene ya ten euro. Mpacho ya fache me. Elohim yawe mpacho o ya huayi. Mpacho wa ne diye o bo niwi ya siye. Bo niwi ya siye. Yo. E diye bebe na uni mfana hon. What do you know about him? Eta mpacho diye bini mpana hosa. Oye, ayi, what is ayi? Ensanchrani. Oye, ensanchrani. Aye, na oye, eni ema akasi akasi anuso. Yo, ye dasi. Mama Ibwa says that he does miracles and wonders. Greater things is what he does. Good. All the answers you have given are correct. Good. But when you read the Bible, the Bible says that. The nations have their gods, but I am the God of gods. How, what makes God God of all gods? Yes. What makes God the God of gods? He's the only living God. He is the one who made everything. He made everything, yes. Of creation. Creator of all creation. Okay. Yeah, Mama Lydia, how can you be anti? Yeah, Mama Lydia, can say you empathy or you anti? Yeah. Today, I say I don't do charity. I'm for you. I'm for you. I'm for you. Okay. What is the only one who can create? He's the only one who can create. Thank you. Yes. Who again? Me macho na nimne na chi obien. Good. Nobody is before him or after him. Yes. What make him different? More answers. More answers. Mm -hmm. He's the only true living God. He's only true living God. Yes. Yeah. Good. He's very wonderful God. Yes. Right. Good. He redeemed us through his son. He's yes. the appreciation of our sins. Okay, good. What makes God different from the other gods? He is the truth and the only one true God, the true God. Yes. Good, 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 good. More answers, more answers. Yahweh made, if they exist, made the other gods. Yahweh is what? One, Yahweh made the other ones. Yahweh made the other gods. Yes. Really? If we can call them gods. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll make the other gods. The small, small ones. He is the only one who can create. Okay. Yes. More answers. He's fine. He truly loves us. He truly loves us. Some video back away. Some video. Only have more order. Good. Good. He doesn't disappoint. Yes. Mama, do a good pa good. He doesn't disappoint. Yes. No. No. Uh huh. Who again? He never forgets. He never forgets. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is that all you know about your God? Only he has started. Only he has started. Only he has started. He has no beginning, no end. Okay. He is omnipresent. Thank you. Uh -huh. Omnipotent. He is a faithful God who does no wrong. 
a forgiving God, a fortress of salvation, a glorious crown, a jealous and avenging God, a master in heaven, a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge for, for the needy. You see? You see? You see where I'm coming from? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why, why do you know about your God? Tell me. I've given you more examples. Let me hear you. He desires a true connection with us. Good. Again. He forgives. He forgives, yes. His father of fatherless. Good. Uh -huh. It's our healer. It's our healer. Good. Uh -huh. He's the source our of our strength. Thank you. Our provider. Thank you. The builder of everything. The commander of the lost army. The creator of heaven and earth. The defender of widows. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A faithful husband God. To, uh, yeah. uh -huh. husband, husband to widows. Good. <laughs> Eternal king. The father of compassion. The father of all spirit. The father of the heavenly lights. The father to the fatherless. God El. The God Almighty El Shaddai. God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The God Most High God El Elyon. God our maker. God of love and peace. The God of hope. The God of glory of grace. You see, you can you just, if you have to go on the list. It's endless. You see that? So, if, uh -huh, if somebody tells me, tell me what you know about your God, and you say three things, is that all? Is that all? He's a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. My stronghold, my savior, my hope, my peace, my retribution, God of the living, God of the spirit of all mankind, God of truth, God of our father, our strength. You see? Too many. Is that all you can say? Mm -hmm. Give me more, give me more, give me more. Good. Thank you. Come here. Uh huh. Alpha and Omega. Uh huh. He's our healer. Our healer, yes. He's the one who brought out our transgression. He's the mighty, awesome God. He's a great and powerful God. Great and awesome mighty in his warrior. name. Uh -huh. Mighty great in battle. Great in battle. Uh -huh. What does he do? He's the one who comforts you. He formed the heart of all. He's the one who raised Christ from the dead. He is the one who reveals the trust to men. He is the help of the fatherless. Him who is able to do immeasurably more than we can all think or ask or imagine. He is the one he who is able to keep us from falling. He is the one who is ready to judge the living and the dead. Hey, is that all you know? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good, avenging God. What again? He is our strong tower. Thank you again. Commander of the Heavenly Armies. Correct. What again? Correct. Thank you. What again? He heals and answers prayers. Thank you. What again? Yes, yes. I need more. More answers. More answers. Come on. Come on. Come on. More answers. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Look on your screen. Look on your screen. I'll give you something more. Uh huh. The give it to me. Okay, what again? What again? Lord Lord it's not like man want to say Nipa, yes. Jehovah no. Jara. Jehovah Jara, yes. Jehovah Elohim. Elohim, that's it. Jehovah Shikenu. Shikenu, the righteousness, yes. Jehovah Sabot has a lot of host of powers. And uh, he's our maker. Jehovah Rahi. The Rohi is a Lord our shepherd. Uh -huh. He is the one true God. He's the one true God. Thank you. Ninisi, yes. He's my light. He's your light, correct? Adonai. Jehovah. Adonai, the Lord Master, yes. Jehovah Shalom. He's the God of our peace, yes. Jehovah El Shaddai. El Shaddai, God Almighty, yes. Mm. <laughs> Jehovah Yahweh. Yahweh is his name. Yes, the Lord God Himself. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. My brother, are you tired? Jehovah, our provider. He's our provider. 
He's oh, a provider. Yeah. Jaira is his name. Jehovah Jaira is the provider. Yes. Jehovah oh. Rafa. Our Rafa, the one who heals. Yes, yes. More, 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 more. Uh huh. Jehovah Shama, the Lord who is there. Nyamia Oh, uh huh. Makodish Kem. Jehovah Makodish Kem is the one who makes you holy. Makodish Kem. Uh huh. Again. Lord, who struck the blue? The blue. Uh huh. What a bubble, some blue, no, at the Yes. Jehovah Jara, the one who provides. Yes. I provide. Carol, read, 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 Carol, read, Mary, read. Uh huh. My advocate. My Your advocate, God. yes. Uh huh. My advocate. Your comforter. Uh huh. Yes. The maker of heaven and earth. The maker of heaven and earth, correct? My help. Most high. Most high God, yes. Again. My okay. hiding place. He's your hiding place and he's your what? Again? Helper. Your Helper. hope. Helper. Correct. Helper. And who supports you? My confidence. My Good, your confidence. I like it. Uh -huh. The one what? to be feared. Yeah, on the way to the throne of only true God, Elohim. That Elohim. Correct. Uh -huh. Only one our wise leader. God. Only one wise God. Our leader. Correct. Yeah. Our, 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 our dwelling place, of course. Yes. Uh -huh. Our judge. Uh, our judge. Uh huh. Yeah. Our Lord giver. Wow. Exactly. He gave the Lord Mansana. Yes, again. Our strength. Our strength. Our strength. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good. Well, correct. More, 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 more. He's what again? He gives us our He's our light. And then he's our mighty rock again. My refuge in the days of distress. Disaster. Yes. When disaster strikes, he is your refuge. Uh -huh. Again, more. My, My refuge in time of trouble. Whenever you have trouble, God is your refuge. Again. Uh -huh. My song. My song. He has become my salvation. He has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength, my song, and my correct. He's my song again. Uh -huh. My strong deliverer. My strong deliverer again. Righteous judge. My righteous judge. I want to hear everybody talking. Mm -hmm. That's what we are coming. Our, rock of our, rock of our salvation. Our salvation. Young Quajibo time. You got her for the consuming fire. The consuming fire. You just all share. Uh -huh. yes. The Almighty. Oh, Nyame Pomu Pom Almighty. Yes. The eternal God. Eternal God. He doesn't die. Uh huh. The compassionate and gracious God. Well, why are you being a more broke, Yanko Pong? Correct, I'm a married one. Be a home, eh? The commandment. Good, the consuming fire, yes. The husband man, the glorious father, eh? The glory of the covenant. The glory of Israel. God, Jehovah El Berith, God of the covenant. Yes, Jehovah El Berith, that is the name. Yahweh El Berith, the God of covenant. Correct. Uh -huh. The God who saves me. The, oh, correct. The one who saves me. Uh -huh. The one who sustains me. The one who sustains me on the ball, Sinuma Boswo. Nanama, what's the matter? Nanama, what's the matter? Yes. Living father. The living father, yeah, what he has here. Nana Kabibianko, uh huh. Mobile home for ya. correct. Uh huh. The porter, oh, correct. Our hiding place, uh huh. Thank you. Why are the the time? Good rock of ages. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. The spring of living water. Correct. Thank you, Caro. I like that one. Uh huh. He's never changed. Oh, what is Sandra? Correct. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, correct. I like that one. The father of the fatherless and the husband to widows. 
the one who loves his people, our glorious God, our praise, his great reward. He is the Alpha and Omega, the ancient of days, the anointed one. Uh -huh. You see that? Uh -huh. Good. So when somebody tell you what do you know about Elohim Yahweh, <laughs> you must come out with a minimum of 25 words to describe him. <laughs> and we said that he has a son, right? Yes. Does he have a son? Yes. Yes. So what do you know about the son? Ooh, it's our savior. Good. Yeah. He's your savior, yes. Me, uh, yeah. He has been uh, given all the authorities authorities from his father. Thank you. Okay, what again? I don't know what the Israel future Correct. What again? Yeah, he died for us. He died for us. Uh -huh. Oh no, no, I the anime and pam pam pam. Am I big guy? Oh, I had the. He's an apostle, apostle and the high priest. High priest. The uh, author and the finisher uh, of our faith. Our faith. Uh, He's the uh, author of life. Uh, author of the, uh, the author uh, of uh, their uh, salvation. Uh, He's a healer, correct. Holy ruler. Good. The branch of the Lord. Branch, uh, the bread, bread of, of life. God. The bread of God. Bread yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I need more, 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 more. Uh -huh. What do you know about his son? He loved his father unconditionally and obeyed him unconditionally. Correct. I like that one, Carol. God bless you. Yes, yes. More, 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 more. Cornerstone. He's a chief cornerstone. Yes. I'm not so much I like it. Mama, um, Mama uh, uh, Hannah, yes, good one. Jesus Christ, I was hope. Good. Oh, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need that so. Uh huh. His father. Good. He died and resurrected after the third day, correct? Mm -hmm. His father sent him to earth to teach us the way of love. Good. Good. Not just man so much as better say not quite. Good. Oh, yeah, dear Carol, well done. Carol, uh, 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 Mr. Mara, I can't hear your voice. Where are you? Are you hiding? No, I'm here. I'm listening. I know. Don't listen. Say something. <laughs> uh huh. Consolation uh. of Israel. Good. Ah, I like that, bro. For consolation of Israel. Moya, the mama. Good one. Yes, Mara, I want to hear your voice. Uh huh. He's the firstborn among the dead. The first one of over all creation. He's the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. The fragrant offering and the sacrifice of God. The friend of tax collectors and sinners. The God of all the earth. God overall. God's son. Great high priest. Hallelujah. The great light. The great shepherd. Oh, the great shepherd of the, of the flock. The guarantee of a better covenant. Ah, 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 ah. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Uh huh. Thank you. I like it. Mama, God bless you. Uh -huh. What again? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. all of our sin. Good. He searches the heart of people. Uh -huh. He's a word. He's the word of God. Amen. Good. So when you have to say something about your God, Somebody say if you know him, hey, 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 mommy, do stuff with mommy, come. Mommy, you said he heard him. Yes, a second, please. Oh, mommy, please. Hmm? I do stuff. Papa, Papa, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Yeah, so. Oh, Papa. I'm angry. What's my say? Good. So when it comes to knowing somebody, something about your God, nobody must tell you. You must yeah. know the God you worship. Good one. Mm. So the next thing is, what is the law? God says that 
since you have ignored my law, I will ignore your children. Emraben Yapuo. Yes, answers. What law have we ignored? What law have we ignored? Yes. The law of Elohim Yahweh, the Ten Commandments, the law to obey and do as Elohim Yahweh says. Is it true that we have ignored a law in Yahweh's word or laws? What law have we ignored? That's the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. Thank you very much. Now, let's go in and see. So, so far, you as a Sabbatarian, what are the things that you should guard most? You need to guard or protect. What are the things that you need to protect? Yes, okay, what again? To remember the Sabbath, to keep it holy. No, correct, we know that. Uh -huh. There are seven things that you have to protect. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Be Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What again? Now mm, that that would be good. Nucredie. Uh-huh. But mm -hmm. we need more. Our holiness. Your holiness. You need to protect your holiness. Okay. I'll take that. So every Sabbatarian, there are seven things that you need to protect. Now, let's see. Good. We are going to revise ourselves about these seven things that we should protect. Good. As yes, it says, verse number 22. The Bible says that, and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another. Isaiah 66, verse 22. Is that in your Bible? Okay. Let me quickly jump into this part so that we can. <clears throat> Good. The best thing or the first thing you should pro protect. Number one, your name. You should protect your name. Make sure that people don't speak bad about you. Mm. If people speak bad about you, who does it affect? Elohim Yahweh. Good. It affects your father in heaven. So if that be the case, let's read something from Proverbs 22, verse 1. Proverbs 22, verse number 1. Proverbs 22, verse 1. Uh huh. Obi no. And then I was so about home buying. Oji di ni ni ma was so about home buying. Edimpana esese u esese uyi uyi uye esine ahunya di ahunya di pi. Good. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches. 
loving favor rather than silver and gold. So that means that the moment you accept and know your God, and you don't ignore his laws, the first thing that you should do is, number one, to protect your name. Make sure that whatever you do, people don't talk bad about you. Why? Because anytime people talk about you, it will affect your Heavenly Father. I'm talking about your name. It implies that when people hear your name mentioned, what do they immediately think about you? This is a question I want to ask. Say, Obi, 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 Say, Obi, 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 a brabo me bo me me daily life no and any pan e e be ba ni tirim e bro be tin me din so give an answer him say uh -huh. say me yes sabatarian because oh sister na o call me me nda sorry na oh sister na eh o yes o yes yes o yes o yes e ni say me pentecostal oh who nim sister your pentecostal sister dey be our Good. Now, the answer Sister gave is that when people hear about her name, they will immediately think of, oh, the lady who is a Sabbatarian. What I do? What I do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Good. Yeah, my daughter can you wumpa is correct. What mama is saying is that how people hear your name and they know that you have left your uh, your previous church to a new church. You have to let them see that you have really changed. You're not a person that you used to be anymore. Things have changed. So your name will imply your character, either good or bad. So the moment you have an idea or a knowledge about the God you serve, then make sure you have a good name. That's number one thing you need to protect. Make sure you have a good name. Good. The second thing is this. Uh, we have talked about this. Your heart. Your heart. As for your heart, it is inside of you. Your heart is the center seat of your consciousness. So when you say you know God, if you say that you know Elohim Yahweh and you go by his laws, then be careful how you protect your heart. Why is this so necessary? So what's up, boy? Come on, buy Mama, buy that. Can we be trained? Then we go to Malon. Why must you guard your heart or protect your heart? Mama, buy that. And Mr. Malon, these are your questions. Uh, come on, no, Emuna. Low idea, no, mama. Low, low TV, no. 
a command and muna and near many in every mobility. So I come on, I saw so I come on because the boss made a command your current and muna and a quape and a table training. I free to say we as a battalion, dear. The first and now I come on, no, yeah, quick temper and no. Over best real body, so I'm out. I come my a da from Tina. Is it a bomb pie? Be said Radema a radical chair. Is it a sober man who now my coma? Over more is right who now my coma. No, he a boa coma, not a din or a free name. Did they make me a canon? Good, thank you. Mama says that um, if you have taken a low him Yahweh, you need to protect your heart because. Out of the heart flows the issues of life. Uh -huh. If you don't protect your heart, people will know the kind of person you are. For example, if you are a quick-tempered person, you must learn how to control your temper. Thank you very much, Mama. Why are there? Mr. Malon, why must we as believers of Elohim Yahweh, who says we know him, why must we protect our heart? Your heart is your conscience. Your heart is your character and from your heart everything about you is spoken everything flows from your heart who you are how you react your conscience and your character good and if it's not protected that means open for evil to take it over and then the conscience is lost the character is lost and Good. everything you plan to do to follow Yahweh is lost. Okay, correct. Thank you. It means that Opacha said, See, your boy, I call my own banya. A moon, I didn't move, I didn't name my year plan or your life moon. If you're a common neighbor, so the Bible said in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23 that above all else guard your heart for everything you do flows from from your heart from it but i come out by you because your heart is extremely valuable what your heart is extremely valuable what come on a boarding we don't got worthless things and then who here ball and then you may follow your mom home by it's also what come on who here parents was a ball home by who are you in uh, who you are is how your heart is. It's a proverb chapter four, twenty-three, verse seven. Send your new power to you. Save a paper no akuma to you. How you are is exactly how your heart is. So that's the second thing we should pro we should uh, protect. And the third thing we should protect is your purpose. But I ain't here, but we are see her. You need to protect us. Ezra chapter 9, verse number 16. Say, but I have raised you up for this very purpose, that I might show you my power, and that my name might be proclaimed in all the earth. Yahweh Neka Sem with Pharaoh. Say Pharaoh, the entire me yaw bash as is a menam or so, a many penny ding. God has a purpose for everybody on this earth. So you must protect that purpose. So let me go to question. Let me go to Mama Georgina, Mama Betty, and Mama Lydia. I did not know who be but I am going to be a see so you are going to be here to buy Mama Georgina, you are Mama Betty, not Mama Lydia. I was what to also. I did not know who be here to say. Purpose, you are going to be born to see you. We are going to Mama Jira ni ho. Mama Mama Lydia ni yangu kwa. I was walking towards the office one day when I noticed. Adam Pacho, anu na de suma au se blasa se sobe yenti se utume ba huba na utume ye. Good. No wa mo huba na enti ni yadi tu besti. Ani na uba kujebo. Yo, beda se. Oya di e. Oya di e beda se. Yo, Mama Betty, yet you. Well, she... uh, 
Why is it important for you to protect the purpose for which Elohim Yahweh sent you here on earth? I didn't know who be here, sir. But I ain't here, Yahweh, do bass as you super boss, but I know by I didn't hear. But the way I over nineteen and I'm also here now, won't any money. Good, so that you'll be able to. Good, so that you'll be able to walk in his ways and walk and then also to see his glory. Okay, correct. Thank you. Mama Jenna Dem said So God has a purpose for everybody on earth. So if you die and you don't let you don't before you die, ask God to show you your purpose. Ask him for a I say no. But Pai say Lohim Yahweh say, Oh my who didn't you my bass as he so otherwise you can't waste your time and go. So seek for your purpose and uh, pursue it. The purpose is your destiny. If you don't handle it with utmost care, it can slip off your hands, gaze and get broken. So one for when you in see but I ya we say brasa say so a bit me free won sa. No lose so so many things can come like pressure on uh, on this crate of ex of purpose discouragement lack of funds anxiety etc these are things that may want to come like pressure on your purpose to break it but say no me be break me twin twa kwan na da bia you are under stress na e true flow buta ye ho enti e hu hia se nipa e be hwe buta ye enti a ya we ka se mrasa se so the fourth thing to protect is your health wa pomu dine a pomu dine question time Proverbs chapter 3 verse 7 to 8 was say don't be impressed with your all your wisdom instead fear the lord and turn your back on evil then you will gain renewed health and vitality uh -huh. so why must you protect your health after all it's your health why must you protect it we are asking Mama Mary, Maclean, and then Madeline, tell us why you must protect your health. Mama Mary, Maclean, and uh, I have two Marys. Okay, Mary, please, you can give us an answer. I didn't know what's all about. Um, because um, God wants us to live and do what he has uh he has um appointed us to do and he said um he care for us and also we have to care for ourselves the bible said love yourself um love your neighbor as yourself so i have to love myself by taking care of my health amen amen love your neighbor as yourself Mo, my Mary, dear. Yeah, the second Mary. Second Mary. I don't know who this Mary is. Pastor Shalom is my Yeah, where Shalom Madeline? A pastor, Miss Amentia, say, and he say, Say, Wapomodia, and my bit to me, dear, ye, a dream more body and their shame, sir. Or say, be away, a soft walker and evangelist, I won't yell more, dear, I won't to me. MP se wo kwaka asempa no nti e wo se ye hwe ya pomu din wi yi se na e be ya dane dane e be ya ho den aye obo ade ni dwuma ode asumai thank you madeline is saying that even if you don't protect your health you not get the strength required to do elohim yahweh's work if god has given you a preaching to go and preach and you are sick how can you do it therefore it's better that you protect your health yahweh bless you we call the last Mary to give us her answer. Why is it necessary for you to protect your own health? Shalom, shalom. Yahweh, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Because Bible mo kranu, eh mi se baby na eh oba di e kase. Eh, ni power pom din se exercise mo mnyi na e hun hia e ma onipa enti onim se eh eh sane ma no ama wa brabo mo a 
What I want to mean, so look around, I can't show this that Jesus love you. Oh, to know I'm what they were, and I also so no to me a day, a to me yet, young couple, a dramatic and a nominal echo, echo, until we are a yadia who bet to me. I yet for bad yet with my tear poem didn't win here. Good. My Mary also said the same thing. If you don't take care of, of your health, it will be very hard for you to even stand up to go and do Elohim here West West. Therefore, as believers of the Most High God, it's the fourth thing that we need to protect. You don't have to kill yourself for one thing or the other. No. We still need you here on earth. So don't use your fork and knife and glass and spoon to go to dig your grave. Take your time and observe what you eat very well. Mm -hmm. Today, just a revision. Correct. So you have to take care of your nipedia. Yeah. Your body is a temple of Elohim Yahweh. So take care of it. Don't use alcohol, overeating, or other substance to destroy the body. Take good care of it. Amen. Good. The next thing again you should protect is your marriage. Marriage. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 7. God said, Let us make man in our own image and likeness. Let them have rule over the fish of the sea and the best of the air and the livestock over all the earth and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and few male created he them. So many people handle their marriage like carton of indomie or noodles. Your marriage is fragile. Handle it with care, like a crate of egg. Adentina, it didn't force you who you are. Or part say, or catch it and say, you're my award, you're home buying. Adentia, I don't see a my award, you're home buying. You be busa, Mama Lendam Poma, you be a near cocker or ho. Why is it important that we should protect our marriage? Mama Lenda. Mama Linda, I'm Puma. I'm Pacho. Oh, oh. Okay. Yo, can we be trained? Oh, but they say you're betting there. You're my award. You're home buying. I didn't see ya. Me Pacho, me tia. Si emu ne se. Awale ano. Wadi 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 Okay. Good. Elohim Yahweh is the one who created marriage and he has given it to us. So if you don't take care of it and it breaks, he will punish us. That is what our sister is saying. Mama Linda Jaminsha, why are they? What can be? Carol, please tell us why do you think it's necessary for us to protect our marriage? Uh, because Elohim Yahweh created men and women uh, in his image. And uh, the connection between a man and a woman is a connection with Elohim Yahweh. Good. So Carol is saying that the connection between man and wife, or I am confide a war or banu couldn't tell me. Sana, Yahweh, yes, yeah, he was I am confide a war yen and tell me. It does a home baked me answer, who Christ to need be an overboard, what are you home buying? But the way it comes home, marriage is actually it's like a parapluie, um, an umbrella. <laughs> when it's raining, you need the umbrella to shield the water from your body that you don't get wet. There are children in the house. The moment the marriage breaks off, it affects who? The children. So, Elohim Yahweh doesn't want our children to go astray. Therefore, if you have come to know him and not ignore him, then protect your marriage so that your children will not be affected. So that's one of the reasons why we should protect our marriage. The last but one... Yeah, 
of course you will give an account of it everything that you god has given you your name your health everything you're gonna give an account of it yes yeah you will okay the last but one thing is your worst your worst uh -huh. so if you have come to know elohim yahweh and not to ignore him and to know him he said that we should guard our words matthew chapter 12 verse 36 to 37 the bible reads but i tell you on that day of judgment people will have to give an account of every careless word or useless word they speak for by your words reflecting your spiritual condition you'll be justified and acquitted and of the guilt of sin and by your words by rejecting me you'll be condemned and sentenced so that means when we speak we might be careful what say wanu asem so ne bebua wo fo ne atwe maso na ese hu be hia pa se ogiri ne bia no obe kora wa no question time mama betty mama ajua sister hana e die be ntina wadwe ye wo se e hu be hia se obe kora wa no asem yi mama ajua de kam ye nkwa asa mama ajua adam pa ko esa se asem what <laughs> Essay and now okay at least of one and Okay. Good. Good. Mama is saying that when it comes to the things we tell our spouses, a man can insult the wife and a wife too can insult the husband. It's not right because even when children are at home they are learning from whatever they see and hear so as believers we must always be polite with our words and a choice of words that we we speak good mama yada say i mean shrao yo yeah ojanko pun shrao good mama betty a dnt na why you know say a humble here said you're here you're on a castle here uh the kakra mini when you say Bible na me yun se ade free ni pa yenu mba no ni ne gbe ehun fi enye de ekọ yenu mu abisa the minimum quotation o but i know that it eh uh, will bible eh uh, enu ti no i was say ehwe enu mka say because eh uh, yeah ade bo na o ka kire wonu ya bi na o kura wo fi se enya enya ade a be gu ni anu fi ana se eh yeah a di problem baba Ubi 
I can't say. You be so I can't tell. And so now what can be one not judge you, man. Bible says that thou shalt not judge. And you know, uh, I was say a casa as a Christian. You who you casa the way Mister Casa actually me a yeah. Okay, we must take care and be careful of how to speak with ourselves because when you speak something, it can never be taken back. You can say, I'm sorry, but you have already caused a damage. So that's why it's necessary for you to think before you speak. Okay, uh, Mama Hannah, we will take the last question. You take the last question. Good. And to end it all, you must be very, very careful and protect your eternity. Where you will spend eternity is very, very important. So let me ask this question to everybody on the platform. How many places can we spend eternity? In how many places can we, say, can we spend eternity? One place. No, sir. Two. Two places. Correct, Madam, Mr. Malone. Which are the two places where we can spend eternity? One is heaven. Yes. Which is and the other is hell. Correct. So if you miss the one, you don't miss the other. So we must be very, very careful how or uh, when to spend eternity. Now the question here is. Depending on where you want to spend your eternity, eh? <laughs> I know all of us want to spend eternity in one place. Okay, let's read something from Romans 6 22, then we bring it to a close. The wages of sin is death. Rejecting God's word for any situation in your life is a sin. This means that we have all seen the mark of God, and that is sin. We have all missed it. For the scripture says that the soul that sins shall die. Death here means eternal separation from God. So the question is here is that what must you do to prevent eternal separation from God? Then I was we here about what entity. We're gonna ask Mama Hannah, Magdalene, and Mary. What must you do? Then I was so here about what entity. Yes. Good. Get closer to his word. And to obey his word. Okay. Thank you. Madeline. Obey the Ten Commandments. Obey the Ten Commandments. But I say, eh, for I don't see any other come be the Akan. Why are they? Na hana. Why are they, sister? Good one. Is a Madeline. Yes. I was saying, Danny, Dana. Good. 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 We must every day get closer to the word of God, obey it, and do what he has uh, commanded us to do on earth. So that when we die, we shall get closer to him. God bless you. Mama Mary Micklin, give us your reason why we should guard our eternity. Or what must we do to guard our eternity here on earth before we die? Nasa Sania, Yenianum, a Kayano, Naya Beben, should have some if he said. Them, them, the Mona, Beben, should have some no, na, near Wobekin, Kayano, a bell room, no, no, and my woo, woo, young coupon, you soup, no Befasua, you bet him in no, an auntie. Good. Thank you, Mama. We must all endeavor to stay closer to his word, read it apply it and by so doing when we die we will never have eternal separation mama mary mcclin for back all last one of my uncle what planet are you from do all the aliens there have hair mary mcclin oh ho. 
to humble yourself. Good to fear God and to work on your salvation, fear and trembling. That is it. So these are the seven things that every believer of Elohim Yahweh who proclaims he knows him and, and does not want to get away from knowledge would be our own person over punim dear. No one now hunim dear. No, you also go home by no, it be near. The seventh one is eternity. The sixth one is your worst. The fifth one is your marriage. The fourth one is your health. The third one is your heart. Your heart. The second one is your oh sorry. The third one is your purpose. But I ain't about we are your purpose. Good. The second one is your heart, and the first one is your name. So to bring this curtains to the close of today's Bible studies, anyone who wish to know God more will never be destroyed. Because Hosea 4, 6 says that for lack of knowledge, my people perish. Not only perishing, but if you ignore God's word, he will ignore your children. We shall stay closer to reading and to the knowledge of the Most High God so that He will keep us forever in Him. Amen. Amen. Good. Amen. Is there any Amen. questions so far that we can ask two people to ask? Then we can close. Wait here. Question B or Ho? Yes, question B or Ho? Okay. So, question B in the Ho, dear. Near the Bible said it's in the Abbey. And then the question is in Kwani Bibu Sibisai. Good one. Um, if no question again, then we are going to close and pray. There may be any platform in Subium. Okay. Now, you see, just near Mom Payeti, our. Yanko Pon, a low him yawet. We Yanko Pon, a portion of us as in the moon, and I am a woodier. Yet there was a said Nancy Wakaka, ye won't say. Or say, for lack of knowledge, name dear Yenin tea. Give any who name dear, who name dear, I yenin tea. Or see a poor assem, and ne see a poor assem and a sack of our Yashua demo. Boy, and I may have what didn't mean more sign your man so you bang. Any bit me dear that is an okay in one pa. No, me away at the was said, and so a bit ye yen. No, I best try and no cassacre a coma. It's when you yaman cow din dawa is a messiah in the demo. Amen. Amen. Good. Let us all share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of His Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, let your goodness and your mercy follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of Elohim Yahweh forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Good. We have come to the end of the Bible studies. So see you.